So in today's video, I'm gonna go over five videos that you should be making for your business or brand right now. Of course, if you're new here, my name is Matt Rodriguez. I'm a content creator and consultant for small businesses and brands. I also enjoy giving out tips to my fellow creatives and that's just what this whole channel is about. So if you like that, consider subscribing and hitting the bell and doing all that good stuff. So we're gonna get right into it. The five videos you should be making for your business or brand right now. Number one, branding or promo video. Now, this type of video is very straightforward. It's showcasing the lifestyle aspect of your business, such as your team working with clients or end users using your product or you know going into the restaurant or gym, et cetera. In this example, you have a restaurant promo me and my team did recently. You really want your potential customer to envision themselves using your product or service. You can even throw in testimonial videos into the promo as well to increase social proof. Generally, it showcases what your business actually does and what your brand is all about. Number two on our list is testimonials. So testimonial videos in the most basic sense are, is having a current or past client walk the viewer through what it's like doing business with you. Basically the whole experience from front to back, you know, how they found you, how you solved their problem, etc. It always helps to have these type of videos on your website or your social media, just so that prospects can see that people are hiring you, having good experiences with you, and most importantly, are getting results with you. Now, number three, vlogs or behind the scenes content. So this is one of my favorite uh, styles of content to shoot. Um, to be honest, it's one of the pieces of content that take the least amount of thought, but yet people overthink it anyway. Another reason why this is one of my favorite uh, types of content to make for businesses and for myself even, is because it allows people to see you from a, a view that most people don't get to see you from, a more personal side. I do a lot of behind the scenes content for myself as well, bringing people behind the scenes on a video shoot or photo shoot, showing people the process, the jokes, you know, the back and forth. It's, it's all fun, it's all real, it's all, it's all candid. Number four is educational or how-to content. Now, we hear this all the time. So are you providing value? Where's your value? Yo, you have, to, you have to provide value. Listen, value is everything. Listen, if I go buy a pair of Jordans and I'm paying with $100, I'm gonna also give some extra value. It's, it's become the craziest buzzword. People are just using it, right? All it is is giving someone a takeaway or a lesson. When they come away from watching your video, what, what are they gonna learn? What are they gonna come away with? You always wanna stay away from doing the me content. People always care about what they can get from something. So keep that in mind when making your content. Ask yourself, what's the point of this video? What are they gonna get out of it? And how are they gonna learn? Share your expertise, right? Give, give tips out to potential clients or to even peers. You know, there's things, everyone has a different perspective. Just because someone else does what you do doesn't mean they do it the way you do it. It doesn't mean that they you know, do the same process. They can have a whole different process. And I think a lot of times people in the same industries can learn from each other instead of consistently always competing with each other. Tell a story. Tell a story about when you first started your business, one of the first major obstacles that you hit on the way to building your business. Tell a story about your, your best client story, your nightmare client or nightmare deal, whatever it is. Also, put yourself in your younger version shoes, the younger you. What were you feeling? What were the things that you wish someone would have mentored you for, mentored you with? and helped you out with. Put yourself in your client shoes and the frequently asked questions that they ask you all the time and address those. Speaking of frequently asked questions, that's number five. Now, if you've been in business for any length of time, there's always top five, top 10 questions you get often from a client, right? They're natural. Naturally, people are curious about certain things, whether it's pricing, whether it's how, you know, your, your process, etc. I know even myself as a creative professional, I get a lot of the same questions on Instagram. So a lot of times when you go to someone's website, they have an FAQ section and that's cool. I'm not knocking that, but I always encourage people to take it up a notch and actually make a video for each question. That does two things. One, it obviously scales you out so you don't have to answer the same question over and over again. Two, it allows the prospect or client to know what you look like, know what you sound like, and start building a connection with you. That way, when you, by the time you meet people, it's, it's like they already know you and there's already a connection there. So that was it, five videos you should be making for yourself, your business, your brand right now. That was branding, testimonial, vlog content, how-to content, and FAQs.
Thank you so much for watching. And of course, if this brought you any value, please be sure to subscribe, hit the like, and drop me a comment with any suggestions for future content and uh, or just to show love. Take care.